My name is Micah Wright. Um, I was a Corporal in 3-1 uh, Lima Company Weapons Platoon. I served in OIF-1 from 03 to 06. It, it really is an honor to have served with as many people as we did in 3-1. The, the heroic things that they did in Fallujah, it was an honor to be a part of that. Um, I think some people would, would expect someone to say that it was combat, it was, it was horrible, it was traumatic, and it, it was all those things, but it was an honor to be able to serve your country in that direct action, right? And to be able to serve uh, and make history with those Marines. It, it definitely is a celebration, and you know, I think in some sense people think of memorials or commemorations as a recognition of the, the past, and it, it certainly is, but I think we have to understand a commemoration or a memorial as a recognition of the past to continue on the future, right? So being able to remember what the sacrifices were made in the past, the sacrifices um, that helped us carry on this legacy, allowed us to carry on this legacy, remembering that motivates us to continue on and be strong and to do those things you talked about, to uh, help veterans transition, to help Marines understand what that legacy is and to be a part of that legacy. It's a lot. There's there, there's quite a bit, and the, some good, some some not so good. Um, but I'll never forget coming home. You know, my the first after Fallujah coming home was amazing. We all came home. We had family, right? We we understood what it meant uh, to be a part of something uh, really, really, really uh, great. So. Being able to come home and being able to be a part of that collective group coming home, I think that's my, my favorite thing. My third tour, I didn't get to experience that because I was wounded, so I was medevaced home. And so it was a lot different. So after Fallujah, I think coming home was my favorite memory. Oh man, this is home. Uh, that's what it feels like anytime I'm here, right? Coming here, this is where I belong. Uh, it's like we never left each other, right? Uh, Sergeant Weatherford, uh, Sergeant Major O'Loughlin, Sergeant Major Sachs, Colonel Buell, uh, Stevens, Russell, I mean all these guys, as soon as we see each other, it could be 10 years since we haven't spoken and it's a family, right? I call them brother or sister or whatever it is. It's like nothing changed.